Welcome everybody to an episode of Root Causes. Today we're going to be talking about soil pH and alkalinity. It's a soil meter. It tells you not only the pH, but other aspects of the soil that your plant relies upon. Now this is a topic that not many people are aware of, familiar with, but it is very important. The pH soil meter. Maybe you know what it looks like, maybe you don't, but what it does essentially is takes these two rods, one's copper, one's more of a silver color. The copper will talk to you about the moisture in your soil, very important to the roots. Next is the pH sensor, and that's very important, we'll go into that. pH sensor measures alkalinity as well as the acid in your soil. You need to have a delicate balance and research into what your crop is. Not everybody knows about the importance of the soil pH. That's what we're going into, and we're also going to touch on alkalinity. There are two separate rods down at the bottom that go directly into the soil that give you the readings that you need to have to get to know your soil. So you can work with what you have, what you know. Help. Now, the scale that it has, that it goes through, is a 0 through 14 number scale, 0 to 7 is acid, 7 to 14, alkaline, 7 is kind of the happy spot, the neutral ground, that's the number that you need to essentially work towards, that is the perfect balance that your soil needs what your crop needs, whatever it is that you have planted in the ground, that's what it needs. This is a reading of what it is, how you get to it. I mean, continue to talk to you about this meter. This is a very basic meter. All of them are essentially having these components. You go up from the rods now, at the very bottom here is a pH sensor. It tells you essentially what the pH is of the soil. Also, it has a moisture setting. This, you just flip flop to figure out which one you want to get your readings for right below the light meter is the pH meter, and it's set to acid to alkaline. You put this meter into your soil, and there is a dial that tells you whether or not it's acid or alkaline. That is essentially the meter. We'll be talking about the soil pH and its alkalinity. Essentially, it's the measure of your soil. The pH stands for the potential hydrogen in the soil. Potential hydrogen. The pH scale has a higher number reaching to the alkalinity and the lower number reaching for the acidity. Talking about alkaline soil now. Alkaline soil contains excessive amounts of sodium, calcium, and magnesium. Sodium, calcium, magnesium, alkaline soil. What it is, is that the soil becomes less soluble and has trouble absorbing certain nutrients. This is common in areas that get very little rain containing excessive amounts of lime. Now, if we go to the acidic soil, 
The acidic soil occurs from leaching and decomposition where heavy waters wash calcium and magnesium out of the soil. So we have zero to six on the pH scale and it has deficiencies in calcium and magnesium. This soil becomes toxic and harbors an excess of carbon dioxide or nitric and sulfuric acid. So this is the table that we are working with where the soil pH is explained, the acidic soil, the alkaline soil, and everything that we just talked about is the pH meter that we explained down at the bottom with the copper and silver rods. The silver rods are what give you the test results of the pH in the soil. At the very top of this meter is a measure of the alkaline and acidic soil sample. It gives you the number of what the sample has. I explained to you what are the excesses and deficiencies of the soil. Thank you for your time. Leave any questions you may have in the comments and I will answer those questions. I don't want any confusion with these things, the acidity and the soil.